So, Keith, you all set? I am all set. All right. Go. Take it over, buddy. All right. Well, I really enjoyed hearing from Peter Davies, Trader Dave, and Trader Dave and I often side chat uh, about the program trades that I see on my tape reader program. And Peter Davies, I often listen to him and listen to his videos regarding the market profile and how the prop traders trade from a few weeks, a few years back. Well, I'm probably going to be coming at you a little bit more hard, fast, and heavy than most folks been on the presentation. First of all, I'd like to thank all the traders from the open house that have already subscribed to the AM term. And second, I do apologize to the uh, current members. I got a few emails. I will have the charts, the prop numbers, uh, first opportunity back online for you. But I just wanted to focus my best efforts on the potential new subscribers and the traders who signed up for the open house. I've already sent you uh, much gratitude and appreciation. And regarding the first 15 minutes of this presentation, I really believe that's the essence of trading and what the AM term brings to the table. And I understand I first wrote this presentation as a direct sales letter and then a video sales letter. So hang on and enjoy the ride. Hi. My name is Wyckoff Trader here, and welcome to the 1215 seminar that's going to help you discover time-tested, proven market principles that allow you, with uncanny accuracy, to climb trade with Swiss clockwork precision, improve consistency and profitability, by predicting trading turns each day using the hidden clock and Wyckoff's principles of judgment. Now, you'll see right here, I'm on for 1215. And Friday, we got a little bit more time at 12.15 up to 2 o'clock. So this might be a more condensed version. It's going to be fast and coming at you hard and heavy and probably fast-paced. And I really do mean that. Over the next 16 minutes or so, you and I together are going to be seeing examples of Wyckoff Principles of Judgment, WB's hidden clock that will allow you to have maximum potential while ensuring minimum potential stop loss. And that's what I consider the best use of the hidden clock. WB's clock that controls all the intraday turns within the market. Not only will it help you to green light and jumpstart your trading success for a lifetime, but put proper trade alignment and align with Swiss clockwork precision, you have a professional trading arsenal as a quiver in your toolbox that has an ever-increasing potential to gain more confidence in your trade, which will pay you more over your trading career so you can earn more and work less. That's what I consider the trader lifestyle, having the time and money to do what you want to do when you want to do it. This system will give you that possibility and help you gain the two to four points or more every day in the e-mini for the rest of your life. For as long as you want to be a professional trader, this will help you do that. Before we get started, let me tell you what this is not. This is not a green light, red light system. This is not a GAN, Ilya, or Fibonacci. This is known only to a few successful individuals and a handful of Billfish Tunis targeting subscribers to the AM term. It's the best entertaining and informative entertain market timing newsletter for the e-mini on the internet in your inbox before the opening bell. In 2018, Brother Kenya's paradigm, tight money economy, some folks feel that the need for a side hustle income and additional side hustle to complement their first side hustle. Uber, Lyft, and Open Table Air may be just to name a few. In the news media, they're dropping email boxes. Every day, you're being bombarded with side puzzle pops from savvy internet gurus and smart financial gurus vying for a piece of your hard-earned retirement, investment, and income. This is the tulip craze blazing across America. Soon, the drones will be flying high in the air, and cars will be driving without human control, and candles will be sold with Bitcoin dispensaries all across the states in the Union. All the folks in the good ship Lollipop will be Colorado mile high, casting away their cares and woes. Yes, it'll be bye-bye Blackbird for most folks in the great USA. And why is that? Because there's no thumb job for Gen Xers who played their Xboxes, and all humans will be distracted getting stone cold seed off and high, smoking dope, because they lost their reality to the machines. Now, as a trader, you may be asking yourself, can I compete against those machines? Those algos. I remember someone asked that question today in the chat. As Clean Eastwood would say, do you really feel lucky, punk? Now, do you really? Most traders will agree it takes more than luck to make consistent profits in the market, become consistently profitable, winning trader, one that rings the bell, prints money each and every day. You need an edge. Your desire to get moolah, the cash, hard-earned market, oh, you're going to get something. You're going to need something more. Some edges you may consider are currently using are pivots. Levels, moving average, crossover, statistics, RSI, market internals, custom maintainers, and the list goes on. The above edges are perfect for most trading. However, you're missing one essential key ingredient, 
Just a little bit more said, the key to becoming a successful trader is to follow your rules and then to know when not to follow your rules. Jesse also said, know when to sit on your hands and when not to. What is Jesse Livermore, the world's greatest trader, alluding to? Timing. It's the interaction of price, volume, and time. Knowing when to pull the trigger at the right time, within the probabilities, at the right place, when the odds are overwhelmingly in your favor. In just a moment, I'll share with you a secret that hidden ingredients successful traders use, hidden the key to the trading success, so you too can print money at the cash register each and every day. That's the key to the successful few. The traders like Charlie D, who enter the market when fair value spikes, the shares leave the weak hands, enter the strong hands, the smart, market-savvy, successful few. And today you have a unique opportunity to enter the world of trading elites, the traders that know the turns before they happen, the professional trading arena. Imagine if you can know with 96% certainty whether the low of the day will be in the morning or late in the evening. That would give you an edge in your trading, but you never had before. Picture yourself. You've never clicked the mouse and loaded up on size. You've felt an overwhelming sense of confidence for the first time in your trading career. You've added on some size. Heck, you just loaded up the wag up the wagon, and you feel so easy for doing so because you know with absolute certainty you're positioning at the right moment in time at the right place in value. You've mastered trade alignment. What will allow you to align your trade with time? I believe, along with AM turn subscribers who also believe, there's an ebb and flow, predictable order in the market. The market keeps time with a cycle or a rhythm. There are forces outside the mind of man that controls his ebb and flow. And a skilled trader will execute when a line is trade with this ebb and flow. And an expert trader will know with 96% certainty when a top or a bottom is in. Now, if you struggled and failed to get an edge in your trading in the past, you're just one decision away. In this webinar, I'm going to share with you how to get idle trade location using the white call principles of judgment and the insider's hidden clock. It's your secret weapon of bulldozing through the pain of not seeing the green in your trading account that you truly feel you need to support yourself and your family. Let me ask you a question. Can you imagine never having to worry about money, worrying about what to do with your time or change or what you're trading, your bottom line? Before we move forward, the key that you pay really close attention to what I'm going to share with you in this webinar, it could mean the difference between a full-time trader, intraday professional trader, or a swing trader with a job. Because I'm going to give you some essential ingredients here you'll be able to put in your trading plan and act upon right away. If you're like most folks, perhaps you feel like you've tried everything under the sun. Click away, and your mind is likely this unique opportunity will click away, and you'll get lost in the shelf of your life, and you'll miss out on the two free gifts. I know I've got a special gift for you. My name is Keith Gallagher. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I did not come from a silver spoon family or have a prestigious New York City address. No one in my family knows what happens in Wall Street where cash is traded or Chicago where the E-mini is traded, nor do they really care. My grandparents never knew we had a depression back in the 1930s, but mom and dad saw the bowl in the 80s and the flash. It's not your grandparents' market. It's not your father's market. The players have changed. Most folks never heard of an algo and do not understand that algos are market makers on all S&P securities. I was always fascinated with the market. When I turned 20, I set a 20-year goal to become a trader by the time I was 40. At 20, I did not know what a trader was, but I knew I wanted to be one. That was far back that Richard Dennis and total traders were not even on the map. As 20 years went by, and after my 40th birthday, I started my quest to find someone to tell me how the market worked. I did not care about triangles, hangman's head and shoulders, upside down or not. I wanted something more. I wanted to know the insider knowledge, how the market worked. I wanted to know how the insiders traded with that knowledge. I wanted to know the skinny from Cousin Benny. I searched a little bit back, found a man by the name of Richard DeMille Wyckoff. After much thought and deliberation, I decided to take action, give them folks a call, and see what they had to offer. Man offers by the name of Craig Schilder. Wyckoff Stock Market Institute. To me, it was the voice of God or that guy with the long hair that I can't believe it's not butter in the way back round the ways. Uh, Fabio, was that his name? Yeah, I think it might have been. Craig says it won't be easy and it's going to be very hard. And judgment will be your guide. It sells talk and uh, $187.5, but he has some educational credits and he had a lifetime guarantee. Any questions, just use a supplied questionnaire and mail it back to him. And I thought to myself, Craig, how long do you plan on living? He smiles and says, you know, I never thought about that. And Craig passed away in 2009, eight years ago. If I am anything, I am the combined composite of all the hopes, fears, dreams, and sorrows of all the books I've read and all the people I've met. That's what made me what I am today. 
I'm at WB in the chat room, just like you are today. I attended a boot camp, and he was a featured speaker. Bill talked about the market, how it had a hidden clock that only insiders were aware of. And Wyckoff also had a hidden clock, but he called it waves. And way back then, that was the 1930s, and it's just as real today as it was back then. And Jesse Livermore said, nothing ever changes in the market. Since the algos took over the old school market maker in the New York City, I was beginning to get a little weird, Mr. Mavamore. Something very fierce. It's becoming challenging, as you sure you've talked about and realized every day, to determine when those ways are happening. But I was sure those ways were there, and more importantly, Bill could help me find them. Now, during the webinar, Bill shared his long-term Elliott Wave counts and what he used. Within five minutes of Bill's talk, I'd already subscribed to his daily newsletter, and at the end of the day, I was on the phone giving me the skinny from Cousin Vinny. It's a no-brainer, he'd say. It's not shooting fish in a barrel, but it's near close. And I would think, what would it have been like to shoot fish in a barrel? I'd have so loved to have been shooting fish with WB. I knew that Bill would be the closest to the buying set of the old-time trader speculator that I could ever get. Bill and I would talk on the phone on Sunday for two and a half hours or more. He was the mind I wanted to clone. And that's really what it's all about, creating a mastermind group of experienced traders, how they think, what they look for. Not because you have to, to help you see what other traders are thinking. You can go against them, you can go with them, or you can just wait and see what happens to them. Now, in chat on the weekdays, I'd mirror and match WB's call of the clock. And I like that. Bill would say, you know, Wyckoff would call the turns, and Bill would call the turns. And Bill used four-day calendar clock cycle. The numbers were fixed, but the times and the highs and lows of days would change. But they would only change once every four days. Bill would say you get to keep your right for the day, and the rest of the cycle, it's locked in stone for the end of the cycle. I really studied his chat log. Tried to ask myself, uh, WB said this or that. What was he looking at? On the questions I could not answer, I'd sidebar him, open up the chat, and ask him. And he'd answer my questions and pose his answers to me in the main chat. Then on Saturday, I'd read all the chats from the previous week, starting with Monday, follow along with my chart, and see if WB sent any spot charts. Follow them was two, and master how WB thought what would make him. What was he looking for? As time bet on, I mastered WB, emulated WB, and became WB, at least the way he thought about the market regarding the clock. That's all I ever wanted to know, how to run that clock, how to run the hidden clock that controls all the ways of the market. One day, I decided to send Bill this email. I already knew I knew the answer. It was just a goal that I had. I'd come up with three questions and ask, building upon each experience and knowledge each week with the hope of one day sending this email. Now you can see here, it's pretty much uh, 5 19, uh, 19, uh, 2017. Uh, it was on a Friday. Uh, and I indicate, Bill, I noticed you were not feeling good. Are you getting low on your meds? And then we asked the question, and I indicate to trust your meds are, are okay. And really, what I could feel was Bill was actually, he was losing his life essence in the chat, and uh, he was kind of having an Aldo moment where things were just really bright. But I had a feeling it wasn't going to be bright for long. And I thought about calling him to make sure he was okay, but I didn't. And as far as we know, he passed away uh, by himself in his house alone on a Friday or Saturday. It's often haunted me why I didn't call him, but I did not because I felt that was the most important thing for him to enjoy that moment of his life. When I first studied Wyckoff when I was 40, I envisioned myself way back being in a room calling the turns. Okay, boys, they're buying them. I'd imagine I'd say, but I was reading the memo from Golden. And my favorite line in the boiler room is, okay, boys, we got the memo. Welcome to the club. That doesn't happen. There's no club. There's no memo from Golden. It's just you and your ability to read the market. That's it. You and your wits, but you don't have to go it alone. Or be alone. Of course, you can if you want to. That's not really why you're here today. So let's talk about, let me just slow it down for a minute. So bear with me just for a moment. And let's say we get on with the market. Let me pull up my charts. Let me slow it down and give you a more informative teaching style. And what I want to do is teach you how to use support zones that have an uncanny accuracy. These levels will have reverse markets. It's better than anything you've ever seen. And by knowing where the big institutions, the ones where they have the higher odds, where they have the orders hidden, it really allows you to cook up for yourself. I see some strong resistance levels. Right now, you're probably thinking how to look much deeper within the chart and how to see where price really has higher odds of resisting. All right, let's jump into that. See where price really has higher odds of reversing. Well, they're not pulling up. No, no, I'm just kidding. Let's go on to the next slide.
These two traders are the real Fabios of the market. The young bull and the old bull. And right now, that old bull, he really looks discombobulated. So maybe we should leave with the young bull, put in the way. What you understand about the market and all trading markets, the purpose of being in market is to facilitate trade, to allow the buying and the selling of shares or contracts. To better understand and think about the market where the buyers and the sellers come together to find a place and a price where both the bosses can live with. Now, Wyckoff, he looked at the market through the lens of the three principles, supply versus demand, cause and effect. And today, for the most part, we'll be looking at supply versus demand and cause and effect, and maybe effort versus result, depending on how far we can go. Now, I think Wyckoff, just a Nikolai Tesla, discovered the secrets of the ancients of the Hermetics principles, but this is not about that. Now, let's face it. The Husans, they're easily hacked. The machines take over. The algos will have limited demigods in the financial arena. That is, if they're not already, humans are the creatures of habit. They got problems and they got some issues. Human folks, they have a distinct sociological and emotional makeup, repeatable patterns of behavior and thinking. To the Indian programmers, that's why you need my algo. Take all the human element out. And that's why as traders, we're really facing some intense struggles today. Algos don't care if the market's falling like a rock and neither should you. That is until they do. But what moves the market? It's interplay, supply, and demand, and predictable human behavior as there is a cause and effect and effort result occur in the trading day. In the end, it's the humans that move the market, not the algos. The humans are still in control for now. Now, once you have the mindset that views the market using the lens of human behavior as it relates to supply and demand to facilitate trade, it's then and only then you can be in a position to understand how the market truly works. Now, throughout the day, usually on the open, where the retail trade occurs, the insiders will probe to see where they can get price away from value to find a newer perception of value. Prices that are too high will cause a lack of demand, with the bears taking over and making it lower. And once it's too low, demand steps up to bid to save the day. It's really that simple. Yes, every day. Everybody knows that. 15 minutes less, you can save on car insurance. But do you see it when it's happening? Can you take advantage of it before it happens? Now, that's the rub, don't you think? Let's take a look at an example. We're knowing the hidden clock. Might have given you an edge, shall we? Now, you see here that the cash market has a two-handle trading range from 950 up to looks like it found value. Real quickly, you can see that right about in here. That's an S2L day. You can see that at the top. On the open spill, we're looking for the price to follow through on what we set out to do in the last hour. High, a continuation of the movement, if you will. And that's 9.50. I was ready to call the high, but then I realized we had a news catalyst release. Something about a Janet yelling at 10, I want it 10 o'clock that really put me on guard. Put me to see what shenanigans the insiders may have had up their sleeves. Now, I'm not saying that they had insider knowledge and what was going to say is, I think the insiders had foresight and experience on how to manipulate the pending opportunity to best suit their interests. And why shouldn't they? They're the ones managing the market, just doing God's work, as Goldman says. You see right here, see this price probe? You should see it come up right about into here. They're going to see if they can find a new vet at the 51 level handle and above it on make a new hive day. Onward and upward, says the bulls. But that's what the composite, well, what's the composite man thinking? Wyckoff used the composite man as a combined total effect of all the pushing and the shoving in the pit as it relates to all the bias and sales on the book. So how the ECNs and the algos do it in millisecond before the humans see the tape. Like a bunch of catfish fighting at the zoo come around feeding time. Pushing that frozen block of frozen worms from one mouth to the other. Those fish are so fast, all you can see is a blurred frozen block animated in the pool. Well, if you ever watch tick charts with low liquidity, that's just what you see. A blur and then a last price. It was too mechanical. Too good to be true. A trading range from 46 to 48 and the composite man bids it up three handles higher for me. I'm not having that. Looks like he wasn't sure what Janet Yellen's decision, so he bid the price up just in case the public got scared and sold without ceasing. Or maybe it was too low as it related to value. Maybe after the news, the market should have had a higher perceived value. What is the true price that the market should be trading at? So to find out, the insiders turn on the battle bots and bid the market up. Fair value really did not increase during that time, and neither did the Dow leaders, so I was a bit skeptical. The price of three handers ha handles higher, and the news has just been released. You can see it right here. What is price doing? It's not as aggressive as it was at 9.56, but some buying is going on or else it'll fall like a rock. The price is three handles higher, and the news has just been released, and some traders are finding it a bit too expensive. Some Johnny-come-lately bulls and got to get out of these shorts are buying from him, and that's okay. 
The battle bots, you can see right here, just keep poking it up. Now, Trader Day would say there's a second push to 1250s, to 1050s. Now, the clock is high, say at 10.01, maybe the latest is 10.05. That's the spiel, opening spiel up. It really can't go much past the first 30-minute spiel. The window's closed. Any further high a day or rise would be residual bull. So from 10 to 10.11 is the AM term. We're looking for a low, but we're just getting a high. It's 10 minutes away from center time, which is 10.30. So using the hidden clock, we're expecting a low at 10.50, which is equidistance. I'm not saying go short along. You've got to decide that for yourself. However, if you knew the clock, you have the time and a better understanding of the confidence in your trade. To find out the maximum price the late bulls and stuck shorts are willing to go, the insiders have to push price to the extreme, which you can see right here. The great PQ wall was fortunate I speak with on the phone one day. He said, Keith, price has to go so high. It looks like it's going back in time. If it's going any higher, I still miss PQ. At about 10.21, that's right here. You can see it with their 10-minute charts. The week stock shorts and stop buying. Stuck, the week stop shorts buying, and the long lakes have long late longs have bought their last share. The price of the market is now too high to entice any more bulls, and the bulls are not having any more of it. The insiders found their price ceiling for the market for that day. The buying will shut off. It is too high and too expensive. No more intrinsic buyers left. The insiders released the crackling and offered the market down to a place where look what happens at 1050, right about here. Wow. Well, isn't that special? It's like clockwork. It's just a quiver in your tool belt, as WB would say. So the insiders have to get price back down to a point that the outsiders feel comfortable buying again. And that level is called value. The place where trade facilitation can occur. That's based upon the insiders experimenting with price. This is simply supply and demand, the law that governs trade facilitation. It's easy to forget that. It's easy to say they're running it up, squeezing the shorts, and the algos have the ball. And lose thought, sight of the simple fact. Too high, no one wants to buy. Too low, no one wants to sell. Bring it back to value. Just about right. The Cody Locks level, the place where price trades for most of the day. Most likely, it's also close to the VWAP. So the best place to trade is around the edges where you have the edge. And you can see where value is building right where I put those big purple blocks, right in there. A few traders leaked for a low, but the market has not found a bottom yet. Price moves down to hold above the daily pivot. Daily pivot right here is this green right here, as you can see. Consolidation forms a balance. After an hour, the price once again moves up to find the best place to fill a fake trade. Knowing the clock and the levels along with the TA and your roundies gives you the timing you need. Livermore said the key to timing is to sit on your hands and know when not to. The clock is a hidden timing of the market. When it's happening, it's a beautiful thing. The VIX is over 10, usually pushing 12 or more. If the market's not moving, the clock was ticking within itself, and it's been pushing about 20, if I heard lately. On a series one day, you're looking for the first turn and then the last turn. I believe that might have happened yesterday. But then the second day, which is obviously might be today, well, that keepy day, WB would say. It's a fun day. You get that turn right, and the rest of the cycle for the remaining four days is set in stone, more like poured concrete. Now, you may want to take a jackhammer and change it, but it's set in stone. You may have the days that are aberrant that do not conform to your expectation on the clock, but on balance, you should expect a normal unless it's not. As each day starts, you're looking to see if it's going to be a normal day or an aberrant and respond accordingly. In the AM turn to the open house subscribers, that's what I indicated in your email today. Without going into the bowels of the earth about the four-day cycle, it's not about the earth, but the moon that controls the cycle. As hard as I tried to disprove it, it's a fact. The moon controls much of our life. Without the moon, life would not exist upon this earth. It's the moon that controls the tides, so we may have fresh water, and the mood swings are never hostile. Emergency responder can attest to that. Now, enough of that bad moon rising. I think we may have time. Let's talk about effort versus result. I think about it. Wyckoff, Shivermer, Element, they all were the original deal. Wyckoff first coined the phrase support and resistance lines. He was the first to use effort versus resistance in the 1930s. Then come around the 50s and the 60s and the 70s, youngsters started calling it divergences. So here's an example. Well, take a look at J.P. Morgan. You can easily see on the open the price of J.P. Morgan was easily kicking it. Wyckoff called that the ease of movement. And that's what you see right here, ease of movement. There's no resistance to price. If you're just watching the tape or the ticks or just the last price, you would see catfish pushing a block of frozen worms up the same direction. 
All the catfish would be on the bottom of the block, and the block would be moving up. All the bids and offers would be retail. I know the opening print was around 80,000 shares. Normally, it's around 120, 132 on a Friday. On a Friday, wow, forget about it. You can actually see 100, 212 to 250,000 shares. It is crazy. So the composite man, the insiders, really were not interested in taking a line on a variety. That's for sure. Now, this is my proprietary uh, charting program. I wrote it over about a decade ago, long before the thinkorswim or Bloomberg changed its color to sexy cool. I had to write my own UI interface. The whole works. You won't find any of this in a charting package. Nothing's like it around. I wrote this probably about 13 years ago, even before they had the word steampunk, which is technology that runs on steam. I wanted to design a program that I thought the boys in the back in the 1930s would have designed if they just popped up today. I read Jim Dalton's book, Market Profile, which I highly encourage anyone to read, the original book. Jim, for the most part, took a wike off the way he made a tape reading chart, which is very few folks know, using Transluck and I won't even get into that. But if you look at this chart here on the right, I understand. I made this like eight years ago, long before the market profile was sexy, cool, and popular. I chose the colors to make it easy on the eye, but not easy on the toner. Obviously, it's broken into 30 minutes. Jim called the first minute the A opening price probe. Now, some traders will look to see if price can probe out of the first 30 minutes. Well, it's easy to see with this chart, but I'm not really looking at volume. Now, Wyckoff used the transluck. Now, actually, he measured the number of feet of tape running per minute. The ratio of feet per tape per minute, he called momentum. Not a lot of folks know that, and I'm sure not a lot of folks really care. I consider to use the number of milliseconds the algos trade within, or the number of trades per minute, since that's the world I live in. You can easily see the ease of movement as we move up. We're looking at the level three. You would have seen 101s and 2 by 2s or just seen catfish feeding at the pond. And 91.89, then a little resistance up to 92.25. You should be able to look here on the right, if my mouse is tracking, right there, right there, that 377, where you normally expect to see a quarter, then onward and upward. That is until you get to 92.38. Notice this big gap here where 101, Super 2, nobody wants to get involved. But what do you think is going to happen around here at 92.39, 92.38, which is 3H? Then we're looking at what, 96.40, you got 166, uh, 167, 126. Now don't worry. I'll put this together as proprietary and don't really matter. Just notice the number's not getting any higher as the price probes up further past the 92.40. Uh, also know that the top ends at 92.44 at 95, which is exactly right here. What is this telling us? Let me repeat what I said earlier. Throughout the day, usually on the open, where the retail trade occurs, the insiders will probe to see if they can get price away from value, where the majority of the trade is occurring. To find a near perception of value, prices that are too high will cause a lack of demand. If the price is higher than some traders are finding it a bit too expensive, some Johnny-come-lately bulls, and i got to get out of these shorts, are still buying him, but for right now, it's okay. I notice here at 10 o'clock, the big volume spy. If you top your fingers... I would not use the thumbs and use your clear keyboard, you notice the tilde right here. Right here. See that? That's telling us some really big boys. Some insiders are hitting the bid because they don't want to be around. It's crazy. The ECN's got all these one lock traders. If you watch the movie Wall Street, then you realize when Bub was mentored by the old man, not the gecko, he'd say, buy a little on the way down. Just take what's offered, but don't lift the bid. Then buy the whole bunch and stop. And wait for it to fall and then buy it all. And if you worked in the boiler room, you'd memorize all those lines. Well, this is just the same, but in reverse. The insiders would sell in into the rally at 3H and then stop waiting for the news catalyst release from Janet Leon, then sold the rest with that tilde the number of the white number sported into 43H. A large quantity, 100,000 shares dropped the market. And price did not respond in upward movement. Price did not respond in a downward movement. The amount of result did not respond to the amount of effort. Something fishy in here, says Mr. Ricardo. Lucy, you've got some explaining to do. That is effort versus result. Or as youngsters say, divergences. They like to draw lines showing the little Mac D or the Mac Daddy D. But the volume, Wyckoff used an OP index. This is not about this. But notice about right here. You have a series of higher highs and higher lows. Notice where price is dipping, only to be supported the 9218. Wyckoff would call that preliminary support and then the buying climax. Let's get back to the clock. We're looking for the spill up. Guess what we found it? 
The insiders took the opportunity to time in their trades to the clock and the end catalyst, which was also timed at 10 o'clock. Things that make you go, hmm. So let's give you a cripple that. The cause versus results. You can see the cause is building. A little trade alongs are getting hurt. Right at about in here. Preliminary sports, selling climax. Preliminary, yeah, preliminary supply, selling climax. Right about here, little longs are getting hurt. But they don't know it yet. Go ahead and take the other side of the trade. I can assure you, it was not Goldman. Well, the result is lagging the effort because the building is where the traders are not certain with the next move after the news release. And I assure you, the insiders were very certain. They were getting out of their charlines and getting into some shorts. If you take it where you all to see the D here. Right, oops. Right here. All the way over to where you see the C and possibly the B, you get a count. This is the value or distribution depending upon what your bid on the offer. We're building the calls. The price probe results in being too high. No one wanted to buy the line. The insiders wanted to unload. So they don't dump it. They just stop. We know the true price of J.P. Morgan is not going to be above the 92.50 or at least not in the next few minutes. We also know the high probability that they got more to unload. They're not dumping it with all that knowledge and knowledge of the clock. We know the next turn is going to be the bears probing for a low. Hmm, the clock has foreshadowed a high time to the news, and now the clock is in sync looking for a low. Thank you, Mr. Moon. You can see the price is not as aggressive as it's running out of calls and dips to touch the top of the resistance, the brown line. Well, I call, for call that shortening of the downward thrust, and that's about right in here. You can see where supply is starting, uh, effort, the band starting to come in here, getting close to the down line, rise the opening uh, print. Where I know the count's three-eighths to a quarter, and there's still a high probability the clock is going to find the low in the next 30 minutes or so. Should not come as any surprise. But later in the day, price is supported and gets back to the 92.38, and bam! The insiders hit it again with supply, and price drives the price right back down again and closed on the low on the lower white line. If you're looking for trading securities, unless you're NASCAT gaming them, for the most part, the big trades are made at the end of the day. With over 32 different venues and climbing, there's not a single post that Bud can stand at and say, bam, it don't happen. Wyckoff would not be trading them. But I think he would be trading the E-mini due to liquidity and the volume restrictions being lifted. And a few years ago, I do think he would still track the market using his OP wave tech barometer and his toolbox. But he would definitely focus efforts on E-mini. Yes, most definitely. But with that, we look at the E-mini. And looking at the Wyckoff wave, which is a combined effort result of the action of the Dow stocks, you can see it holding here at 940. And then dips down to 950. Ten minutes later, the rally still checked at the high in the opening print and the close the previous day. Who's winning? The Bulls or the Bears? You can see right here. Now, I distinctly remember giving a shout out in the chat and then sidebar and Trader Dave and say, hey, Buy is getting active. They just traded a million shares right where you see it. And I put a chat out uh, in the IMP Pro chat room. So if you're at S3H and looking for a spill low, then buying came in at the 22 and the 20, then stop run 20 to put a low of day in at 24.19.50. If you're looking for an AM high, Wyckoff would see this as a test of the spring, but the 22 and the 20 needs to hold for a successful test. And I put out another little pop chat. Spy just dropped 780 shares. Let's hope it's to make America great. And there's another 250. And the bulls need to take out that 27 unless they want this thing sealed. And they dropped another 100,000. Professionals are getting active in the Dow stocks. And what do you think is going to happen to the market? You can see right here. They're not buying at the lows. They're not supporting that market. What are they doing? They're buying at the highs. And at 10, 11, 12, I say, hold it, hold it. That's 22 and the 20, say the bulls. Hold it, hold it. I was actually channeling my great-grandfather. Possibly the first strike, but Bears got some more on the clock. Yes, fair value flipped, positive ground about round here. Bulls can only hope for a soft proverbial mid-AM low. We already know. We already know this, where the lows and where the highs are going to be based upon the clock. Notice I say it's getting active at 100 million shares. Watch up here. Buy accumulated volume is 1 million plus. 780 plus 250, that's 200 million shares. Imagine how the math works. That's program trades. Somebody asked me, hey, Wyckoff, why do you look at these program trades? Now, Dave and I already know how we look at program trades. Trader Dave. 
I said, I look at program traders, anything over 200,000 is traded in one trade. It does not always give the direction of the wind, but confirmation to the levels. And that's professional, someone other than me is trading. It really is within the context of what happened before, as most things are. But on balance, when the professionals are needed to buy at the higher levels, what happens? What happens? You can easily see what's going on. We went from there. To there. The algos are mathematical, soulless bots. They don't have emotions. They do not have feelings. They do not brag about their trades or the traders. Are the traders, are the insiders, at this point in time, you ask, tell me, where do you fist, where the feminine, are the insiders putting on or taking off their lines right here at exactly, look about one o'clock. See that big volume spike? Are they putting off their lines or taking them off? See the two traders? What do you think they're thinking? Wow. They're thinking, Jimmy Cricket's back, man. That's one big volume spike, Robin. Let me ask you a question. How many of you are feeling excited and overwhelmed? Right now, you should have only two questions. Am I happy being an outsider, and do I want to trade against the insiders? If you can answer no to both of these questions, then your next response needs to be yes. Why right, call? Send me your newsletter today. When you get the newsletter, you get the previous days, Globex, Overnight, Geopickle, Peon, Asian, and the trade. And why is this important? You get the previous days, cash, real time, open, high, low, close, and settle with the volume. The two-day highs and lows, weekly pivot with the support, resistance, along with the daily pivots, the R1, R2, R3, the narrative of how the insiders may position their trading positions. Probe and the numbers, the most important part. WBs, proprietary returns, S1, S2, S3, and S4, with their probability and expectations. The bulls and the bears, what they want and what they need. Visual expectations for the day. Notable traits and behavior to keep in mind for the trading day. How the tuna and the billfish may be biased on the day and normal. How the day should play out. Where and when, how and where and should the high and the low should be. Honing, that's what really earns you the big bucks, and that's how it's going to tell you how the market's going to play out. You get a detailed description. As the day started from the end of the day, the mode and the mind of the traders, the how the news, the catalyst shape, the inventors, the thoughts, and ideas. How the one side would trade the bull from the cash and the bear from the cash, the levels and the events. The previous day supply and demand was fair value and settle. The big picture levels were priced as points. Stop, look, and listen. The fine-tuned levels were priced may have given propensity to reverse. The narrative the overnight developments in Asia and European markets and events on top for the current trading day was time for the trade alignment. You get the clock for the current trading day. Breakdown of how the potential highs and lows of each turn in the market, the outline of the timing of each potential high and low, description of how the day with the possible scenarios that may play out, and when appropriate, a possible outline how events may play out within the day, and a breakdown of the time, price, and turn of each series day. When you subscribe to my newsletter today, I will give you my personal phone number, and we'll set up a time today or in the future to talk about the wave, the white off, and the hidden clock. You got to join today. It's just the same as I did with WB to get the personal phone number. I don't give it out to even the folks in the chat room. Do you want to know the insider knowledge, how the market works? Do you want to know how the insiders trade with that knowledge? Do you want to know the inside skinny from Cousin Benny? You and I find this charting package. I wrote it. And I don't seal the plugins. I focus on the Kapatsa Man campaign, the insider's trade. If you are looking to make two to four points every day in the E-mini, then I'm your man. I give you the pros and the numbers. Proprietary turns, S1, S2, S3, S4. That's series days, the highs and lows and where there's going to be. But then their probability and expectations, the honing, that's what really earns you the big bucks of how the market will play out. A detailed description of how the traders, insiders view the real-time news, the catalysts, and the overnight events, the levels to stop, look, and listen. Time to the way of the day's hidden clock of the market. Are you looking to see how the insiders may trade the market? If you're a new trader, if you're a seasoned trader, you're looking to make two to four points or more every day in the E-mini. And if you're an expert, you're looking to take ideal trade location near the hidden clock and the Y call. I've done my homework. I've done all the research so you don't have to. I spent thousands of hours of time and sales looking at the dome, seeing how price trades around the interrelationship of time and price. Of course, there's some things that seem practical until you sit down and trade with them, and you realize they're useless. I don't enjoy that. I want everything I learned to be practical. I want it to be something that I can use right now to make my trading better. That's what I'm offering you today. I read hundreds and hundreds of books on old school insider trading. I've seen hundreds and hundreds of hours of screen time, continue to read and see time and sales and dome more and more every day because I'm always on the lookout for the new insights, new ways to place old school trades in this modern day, a little gold millisecond age. I'm always looking for a new quiver in my toolbox to make my job as a trader easier. I'm always looking for a new angle approach to professional trading. 
the tips, the tricks that blow me away. That's how brilliant they are. The things that make me go, wow, that's amazing. Those are the things I'm looking for. That's what I'm offering you today. I'm giving you a new lens to which to view an amazing and successful approach to trading like the insiders do using the hidden clock and wipe off principles of judgment without investing in expensive software, data feeds, price lagging and indicators. It's a filter you can use to apply that you can understand what I understand so I can benefit from the countless hours of research and the trading that I've already done. Really, what makes me different than any Johnny come lately who spends their time ranting and raving about the next trading approach to the markets? You know that? Yes, you're a trader. You understand the pain of saving away at something that should be a world of abundance in your head. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. But for whatever reason, at the end of the day, when you sit down and you look at the chart at the hard right side at 415 and pull it up on your computer, it just doesn't come out right. You take a step back. Look at the chart. It's painted for you and say to yourself, that's it. That's what I saw. That's it. That's what I was thinking. Why couldn't I have not seen that in real time? When was that happening? You know you have the potential to see the turns before they happen. You're passionate about trading the market. You're excited about it, and you love it. Yes, you just love it, but you just can't get it right. What are you missing? What mental block is stopping you from figuring this out? I'm sure to help you remove it, and that's why I'm so excited to introduce you to the Wyckoff Trader AM Turn Interday Newsletter. But what makes this different from any other newsletter out there? I'm just an average guy just like you. I can never be Robin. A Wyckoff, a Livermore, or Elliot, I'm just, I think it would be Batman. A Robin or Livermore, I'm just Elliot. I am just Robin. If I had this opportunity when I first started, I'd have saved tens of thousands of dollars in years of time. The number one thing that's helped me skyrocket my success was learning directly from mentors where I wanted to be. If I personally spoke with you and gave you all the knowledge, I've learned over 10 years of trading in the trenches with thousands of dollars to find out what really works, plus the help from all my mentors, would this be worth it? Now, for the first 10 traders to do decide to describe, and both have described Monday and Tuesday, you can see right here, you click on the email, you've got the newsletter. During this uh, seminar, I'll give you a free 20-minute hand-holding phone session. We beat that to death in the newsletters. That's $125 value for acting immediately and subscribing today. Guess what? you got a red button there at the bottom. Click it, call it, whatever works for you. Let's just get started and get going. Tell me. What's it worth to tell you to feel fulfilled, happy, and satisfied? Your ability to pick the level for the market should occur. What's it worth to you to understand and how the insiders think about the market? What exactly do you need to achieve their same level of success? Now, some of the newsletter subscribers would gladly pay $200 a month for their subscription. In fact, some of them told me they'd pay 10 times as much for their subscription, but you won't pay even half that much, not even a quarter of it. If you order immediately during this webinar in the next 10 minutes, I'll also give you access to the member-only website, Mr. Top Step Portal for the AM turn. You'll get my special email for a webinar, special link from me, if you only if you order my newsletter right now. The Insider Member-Only Portal, you'll have access to the archive AM turn newsletters and a direct link to ask me any questions you may have out to Hidden Clock, Wyckoff, any email questions for just $29, build monthly on your credit card. That's about $0.08 cents per day. Hey, you probably got that much stuck in the cracks of your couch. That's 60% off on normal rate of $49. Why is it so low? Because I'm on a mission to save as many traders from the evil algos, to help tuna billfish and starting traders add more green to their bottom line. The best part is you can take a look at my AM turn and receive everything I mentioned here at absolutely no risk or obligation. In other words, by taking me up on this offer, you're agreeing to try my work to see if you like it. I know it will be the best financial decisions you'll ever make. If you decide for any reason my work is not right for you or just let me know, you can receive a full refund and keep everything you've ever received so far. Now, if you're still skeptical, that's perfectly fine. I understand. I would be too. There are thousands and lots of people who claim to know the secrets to call and turns in the market every day. How do you know my newsletter will work for you? Luckily, you don't have to take my word for it because my newsletter comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If my newsletter does not inspire a great trading thesis, if it doesn't teach you how the insiders look at the market, if it doesn't show you how the professionals run a campaign, how to get the best trade locations, how to time your trade with the insiders and the algos, if you don't find it educational, if you don't find it entertaining, if you don't find like, the sound of my voice, if you don't like my writing style, I'll give you a full refund, no questions asked. You literally have nothing to lose, so go ahead and click on the order button right there. Call 888-WYCOFF, extension 202, or go to mrtopset.com, click products, newsletter, AM turn. I just want to give back with all the giants whose shoulders I've been fortunate upon to stand have given me, and thank you for your time. Subscribe to my newsletter, the AM turn, only $29 monthly. Do it now. Do it, do it, do it today. If you get just one trade idea, would it be worth the monthly subscription?
If you find the AM terms not live to your expectations, drop me an email or call, and I'll address your concern. If you are still not satisfied, then of course you will be refunded all your money, and I'll let you keep all the newsletters. Money replenishes time does not. You cannot do nothing. Stay broke, comfortable, or pony up your tiny investment and just give me a shot. It's risk-free. If information was enough, you could duck, duck, go it, YouTube it, or Google it. You need a guide who's been there before and who can take you there now. I just want to give back to all the giants whose shoulders I've been fortunate to stand upon and given me. Thank you for your time. Subscribe to my newsletter, The AM Turn, only $29 monthly. Do it now. Do it. Do it today. Just pick up the phone. Call 888 yk two or click mrtopset.com, products, newsletter, AM Turn. Type in your internet browser, mrtopset.com, product, newsletter, AM Turn, and click on the purple subscribe now button to get started. Complete with our SSL 28-bit encrypted order form or call 888 wyckoff extension 202. Operators are standing by. Sign up for my AM Turn newsletter. Drop me an email, trader at wyckoff amturn.com you instantly receive multiple ways to contact me if you need absolutely anything to help you further in your trading success once again i just want to get back to all the giants who showed us i've been fortunate to stand upon and thank you for your time subscribe to my newsletter the am turn only 29 dollars today do it do it do it today the number one reason most traders the number one stake most the traders make is to step back and wait for the market to prove them right when they should be ready and willing and able to let the market prove them wrong. The qualities essential to the investment of a speculator or trader or investor are judgment, self-reliance, courage, prudence, and pliability. And these should be added to quality, patience, and in brief, rigid self-control is half the battle. You must train yourself to act upon your decisions and to carry them to a successful conclusion. Operate with no emotions, be indifferent to each trader's outcome, and be willing to let the market prove you wrong. Lastly, I just want to give back to all what the giants and shoulders I've been fortunate to stand upon have given me. Thank you for your time. Subscribe to my newsletter, The AM Turn, only $29 monthly. With much gratitude and appreciation, I thank you for your time.